Hey, what is up guys? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. Now this is an impromptu video. I didn't think that I was going to be filming a video today, but there's some stuff that has popped off about Adam Levine and him possibly like cheating on his wife. And I kind of wanted to talk about it because I've been a follower of Adam Levine for a while. Now I'm not going to act like I know this man's business like that. I really liked Adam in Maroon 5. Maroon 5 was like one of my favorite bands when I was in high school. So if you're a millennial like me, you probably at least know a little bit about Adam Levine and how iconic he used to be. A lot of people now know Adam Levine for The Voice, I believe, and he was also also on the first episode of American Horror Story, which was actually iconic. I love American Horror Story. But before we jump into this video, I would like to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. Now you guys know that I've worked with Adam and Eve for a very long time. It's a trusted brand. I love Adam and Eve. They've been amazing to me. And right now, if you use code Dustin over on adamandeve.com, you'll get 50% off one item as well as free shipping to the US and Canada. Keep in mind, some exclusions do apply. There's also some major perks of shopping Adam and Eve. You get 24 seven customer support, 90 day hassle free returns, and 20% of their profit goes to fight the spread of HIV and AIDS. I love that. That is something that is near and dear to my heart, being a gay man. So if you are inclined, I implore you to go use code Dustin. Treat yourself, girl. It's 2022. So all of this really kicked off on TikTok because most things that go viral these days start on TikTok and then they trickle down to other social medias. But there's this influencer over there named Summer Stroh and she's a beautiful girl, but I don't know if she's a nice person or not because what we're going to get into in a little bit in this video is her actually being exposed. Now, I know that there's been other people that have came forward other than Summer now. I don't really want to focus on that so I want to give you the tea from summer I'm gonna play her video for you guys here and then I'll be back with more commentary I'm just gonna rip the band-aid off because I've retaken this like 10 times now essentially I was having an affair with a man who's married to a Victoria's Secret model at the time you know I was young I was naive and I mean quite frankly I feel exploited I wasn't in the scene like I am now um, so I was definitely very easily manipulated we're in five is practically elevator music at this point, so I'm sure you know who Adam Levine is. Um, but Adam and I were seeing each other for about a year. After I stopped talking to him over you know, a period of months, this is uh, how he came back into my life. He said, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby, and if it's a boy, I really uh, wanna name it Sumner. You okay with that? Dead serious. Um, I was like, I'm in hell. Like I have to be in hell at this point. I mean, my morals were unknowingly compromised. I was completely manipulated. I wanted to handle this privately. I never wanted to come forward because obviously I know the implications that come with doing what I do, making money the way I do and being an Instagram model. Um, so being tied to a story like this, it's like, I know the stereotypes I had sent, um, I had sent some screenshots recklessly to a few friends I thought I trusted, and one of them had attempted to sell to a tabloid. Um, so here I am. I just wanted to make a part two. Um, I feel like it's obviously necessary. Um, hindsight is twenty twenty. I initially wanted to go in and talk about how remorseful I feel and how embarrassed and disgusted I am with myself, but I didn't want people to look at it and think like, oh, she's playing the victim. But in reality, it had the opposite effect. Something I now realize I didn't touch on enough was the fact that um, one of my friends had attempted to sell it, um, which I realized yesterday whenever they reached out to me for comment. And so I was completely frantic. That is why that video is for one, just so, all over the place into why I didn't touch on some of the things that I initially would have liked. So in this video, I'd like to address some of those things. I only came forward because I wanted to kill whatever story the tabloid had. The most important part that I did definitely gloss over is the fact that I was under the impression that their marriage was over. I believe that they were keeping it quiet to avoid the negative press because as I had said, I was new to LA, so I just assumed that with celebrities of that caliber that that's just how it was. And that's why I feel exploited, because he knew I believed everything that he said. Because of my vulnerable position of being new to LA. Also, he was DMing me straight from his verified Instagram account. I didn't have any reason to further question it. But I now realize that that was likely a manipulation tactic of his, you know, just hiding in plain sight. 
As soon as I had realized that was not the case, I had cut things off with him. In retrospect, I wish I would have questioned things more. I wish I wasn't so naive, but you know, being naive is not an excuse for what I did and the role I played in this. Again, in no way was I trying to gain sympathy, and I fully realize I'm not the victim in this. I'm not the one who's really getting hurt here. It's Biotti and her children, and for that, I'm so, so sorry. Now, I know that Adam is married, and I do not want to mispronounce his wife's name. She's a beautiful girl, and I believe that she was a Victoria's Secret supermodel. So first and foremost, who could do that to someone, let alone someone that's a supermodel from Victoria's Secret, right? And initially, when I saw this TikTok from Sumner, I was like, oh my God, like, I feel bad for her. She was manipulated. Because in the past, we've all seen how people with power or people that are in power or have money and social status like to use that to get people to, like, talk to them. <coughs> James Charles. So TikTok did what TikTok does best. After I liked Sumner's TikTok, a couple videos down, I got this video from this girl named Abby, and Abby was spilling all the tea on the Sumner girl. And let me tell you, it was not very pretty. This Sumner girl seems like a very, very mean girl. Now, before I get into that, I do want to read Adam Levine's response to this because he responded very quickly, which is not very common. In a post on his Instagram story, he said, a lot is being said about me right now, and I want to clear the air. I use poor judgment in speaking with anyone other than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner. I did not have an affair. Nonetheless, I crossed the line during a regrettable period in my life. In certain instances, it became inappropriate. I have addressed that and taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family. My wife and my family is all I care about in this world. To be this naive and stupid, to risk the only thing that truly matters to me was the greatest mistake I could ever make. I will never make it again. I take full responsibility. We will get through it and we will get through it together. Now, all I have is one question, Adam. Will she be loved? I mean, I had to do that. Like... But anyway, this girl Sumner got exposed by this Abby person and <laughs> eventually Sumner was responding to comments that I have that I believe are deleted now that I'm gonna show you guys. But I want you to watch Abby's TikToks just so you can understand what kind of person this Sumner girl like allegedly is because I was like, oh wow, like I felt sorry for you for a minute and then it was like, wow. So you guys check this out and then I'll be back with some deleted receipts. This, this right here. I have been waiting for this day because I used to date her younger brother. Yeah, three years ago, I dated her younger brother. And when I say this woman had made my life a literal fucking hell, I have not ever met a more manipulative, mean, condescending, excuse my language, but bitch, than this woman. I literally have text messages of everything she's ever sent me, of her literally threatening me, slandering my name. I believe this woman right here has no regret, remorse, or even doesn't even probably feel ashamed for what she did. She's a marketing major. She knows what she's doing. This woman, I have screen recordings of when I dated her brother three years ago and her literally paying for bots. She literally has probably been saving this moment up for a really long time. And her friend that tried to probably expose her? Yeah, bullshit. This, she probably had it planned the whole time. This is just some of the things she used to send me. You know, like she was just an awful human being and was never nice to me. I literally bought her Marc Jacobs and Anastasia Beverly Hill and all these nice makeup products for Christmas when I first got together with him and she didn't even give me a thank you. Everything about this woman is fake and I wouldn't believe a thing she posts on the internet. All right, you guys want the tea? I'll give you the tea. I just want to say a disclaimer, I'm not choosing Adam's side and I'm not choosing her side. If anything, it's more of her fault because she knew going into it that this man had a wife and she continued this for a year. If she was a good person, she would have said no because like it's morally right to do so. But anyway, um, yeah, I dated her brother in 2018. We started dating in December and we ended things in May 2019. When dating him, the whole course of the relationship, her, like, she would send text messages as well as her sister in the family group messages to the point, like, literally bashing me to the point where her brother would come to me crying because he was so upset at the stuff they were saying about me. This man liked me so much that he wanted to, like, share me with his family, but his sisters and his mom were so mean they wouldn't allow it. And I think it's the fact that their dad used to give me money. 
And I used to, I used to only take the money because he wanted me to, and it was almost as a disgrace if I didn't. I didn't come from a very wealthy background, and I wasn't given a lot of stuff throughout my childhood as much as Sumner or Baylin and them did. He had always told me that he wishes I was his daughter so he could tell people how proud of me I am. My housing situation at the time was not the best, so I lived in her room because she went to school in Texas. A majority of the mean texts with her started when she texted me, thanks for letting me know you're staying in my room. When in the first place, I never told her because her dad told me to stay in there. He's the one who pays the bills. She's never there. And he wanted to keep the drama out because that's how they are. The first time I actually met her was I was making gingerbread houses with her brother and she made her mom cry because she wanted to get her boob job before her mom got her liposuction. Her sister, Balin, would often come out to me when I was doing things in the yard and Sumner would be on the phone screaming, literally saying terrible things to me to the point where I would go inside crying. The last time I actually ever had a face-to-face -face interaction with them, their grandpa had to apologize for me for their her, his grandchildren's like actions. Like it even got so bad that she was going around telling people that I had stole a Tory Burt sandal and one earring. One Tory Burt sandal and one earring. Like, I don't know about you, but nobody's just sporting one sandal and one earring around. And I know a lot of you guys are saying I faked this, but why would I fake this? She sent this in her family's group chat and then proceeded to post it on Instagram on her story. She also posted stuff like this and says, Snapchat, I warned you, and then would post awful stories about me on her Snapchat and then unadded me so I couldn't see it. Then all of her friends that are supporting her would dog me in the comments on her Instagram post. So literally as this new video of Abby's came up on my TikTok, talk there was a comment posted 31 seconds previous to me seeing this and it was from Sumner and she said I cannot believe you're still meddling with my family you were getting baby clothes planning to trap my brother by getting pregnant like who says that like honestly who says that to another woman and yes obviously I checked I clicked on the profile and it went straight to Sumner's real profile that has that video of her talking about Adam Levine but here's where the water gets muddied even more so someone replied and said did y'all break up because of her and Sumner replied and said no she was physically and verbally abusive that's a big claim so we have Sumner coming on here exposing Adam Levine and then she gets exposed for being a mean girl and now she's attacking this person that used to date her brother but that is not the end of it still that is not the end of it. Abby responded in another TikTok talking about Sumner, pretty much saying that she's done with the situation. She didn't want this can of worms. And I'm always like kind of like dumbfounded when people say stuff like that. And it's like super crazy to me because none of this would have ever went viral if it was like some D-list celebrity just because it's Adam Levine. These people are gonna go back and forth until they really can't anymore. As long as the cloud's there, they're gonna keep going. And listen, that's not me defending Adam Levine. I think that it's really shitty that he would do this to his wife. But Adam Levine always came off to me as like a playboy he just has that like swagger about him. And a lot of people don't know this about Adam Levine, but I read somewhere, I think it was like in a magazine when I was a lot younger, that Adam Levine like stinks because he doesn't bathe right. Like, I don't know, but girl, go wash your ass and stop cheating on your wife. But you guys, let me know what you think about all this down below. I know it's a mess. I know there's a lot of people talking about it. There's been a lot of girls that have came out and talked about this with their experience with Adam Levine. And that's a pretty common thing because it's like a domino when one person feels comfortable to come forward, other people come forward and that's great. But I really think that Adam Levine like really fucked up this time. And of course, I'm pretty sure that this will not be the end of this. So you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. What do you think about all this mess with Adam Levine and his wife? I feel bad for his wife out of all these people involved, Adam, Adam. Abby, Sumner, I really honestly feel for the wife and the kids in this situation because honestly, who wants marital problems and arguments circulating around their marriage on the internet? Like nobody wants that. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.